oxygen source, it's an E-tank. We also have the H tanks over there, but for our purposes, we're gonna use the E-tank. Here's the oxygen pressure gauge and the yoke. We have to make sure that the tank is connected to the yoke. We follow the gas line up and it goes into here. Right? It does go up into here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It goes up into here to all the way. Well, technically, the gas line will go. Oh, that's right. There we go. I was like, where's the tube? Okay, so it goes up the tube here into the flow meter in the front here. The flow meter is where you can turn the PSI, which has been, it's been, it went from whatever the tank pressure is to 45 and then down to 20, is it 25? 15. 15, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, I'm like, okay, so 45 to 15. Then at the very top and on the back of it is a tube connecting the oxygen flow meter. Which may come off. <laughs> yeah, which they may take off all the way to the um, vaporizer inlet here, which again, they may take off. Gas goes into the vaporizer, comes out the vaporizer outlet here, which will be attached either to a rebreathing or non-rebreathing system. Mm -hmm. For our purposes, we're doing a rebreathing system, so we attach it here. And again, just look for the piece that looks just like this anytime on any of the machines. So we attach it here. And in the back, you see that has a three system here. So this tube here is for the oxygen um, fast flush valve to bypass the vaporizer. So it goes from the, the valve in front to go straight through and into the system, straight into the patient. Okay.